Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, whatever it is for you. Welcome back to another Division 2 video. And unfortunately, we have not great news for today. And I did a bunch of research, as a lot of people already noticed. A lot of people already are talking about and a lot of other creators are already making content about it. I want to inform you as well. It took a little bit longer for me because I don't really like to talk about speculations. I like to talk about facts. As yesterday we got that official news of the division looking into the problems that people have on the PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 side of the game. The last couple of days I asked everybody that had some problems to send me some stuff to give me some more information what was going on because I am personally on PlayStation 5 as well but I'm on the European side of the server and I don't have any problems. The game works perfect for me again i am not a developer i'm not tech savvy like that to know what the hell is going on with the servers and how it's possible that most of the na servers are infected i only talked to one friend of mine on my whole friends list on all my friends on all my creator friends out there that are on the european side there's only one that has problems so it looks like it's mostly on the NA side, but there are a bunch, a bunch of problems on PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, and it's almost all not fully unplayable. So let's talk about a few problems, of course. We can go through the Trello board, but today I just linked up with a friend of mine, Notorious Fox. He's on the European side and he has problems in the game. So I thought, let's record a few things, let's talk about a few things and let me show you what is going on on the PlayStation side of the division today, or at least since the last update, TU20.3. So let's start from logging into the game. There is a chance that your character is totally invisible or all your characters are totally invisible. You can't see your characters even if you have four characters. You can scroll through it, but you cannot see that character. But that doesn't mean that your character is gone. Don't worry about that too much because Ubisoft can still roll back your account and give you your character back if that is needed but this seems to be a UI glitch like most of the things happening with these problems on PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5. You can still press continue you can still log into your character but some characters will be stuck at that nine percent loading screen then the most annoying part is that you have to close your application start the game up again to then try it with a different character i've been told that not all characters have been affected by this so there are a few characters that you can log into so try a few different characters to see if those characters can get into the game next to that it will take about five minutes for you to log into the game again this is all secondhand information because i don't have any problems with the game but i've been talking to notorious i've been talking to a bunch of other people and they all have problems by logging in it takes forever when you can log in because of course like i just said you are probably stuck at that nine percent loading screen but if you get past that nine percent it takes a lot of minutes for you to sign into the game then let's get over the second biggest problem in my humble opinion and that is is loot is invisible there are still things that you can pick up. There are still things that will count towards your inventory. Or even if you run around with directives, you have those skill directives on. Those little skill things drop on the ground. You can't see them, but you can still pick them up. 
So that seems, again, like a UI problem, but that loot is very, very annoying. Of course, this is a looter shooter. For most of y'all, it changed to just a shooter. It is not a looter shooter anymore because we cannot loot, or most people cannot loot on the PlayStation 4 or PlayStation 5 side of the division. Then, of course, if you open up a cache, it usually drops on the ground. And that's kind of the problem at the moment with loot. That if it gets rewarded to you, you will get it. But if you try to pick it up, if you open something and then the game drops it on the ground, you cannot see it and you cannot even pick it up. Like... Like I just explained, for example, those strong arms, those trophies from the Memento, you cannot see them on the map. But if you look, for example, to your mini map, you can see that those items are on the ground as well. So for you, you can see them. But if you look at your mini map, they are on the ground. So you can walk over them and you will get those trophies from the Memento. Or just like I explained, if you have directives on, you can still pick up those skill trophies to make sure that your skills will be coming back. So that all seems like a UI problem, but that's kind of the biggest problem because you can't, we can't pick it up. And this is what the game is all about. It's a looter shooter trying to perfect your builds, trying to get stuff into your library, trying to get to that expertise system. It is almost all not fully unplayable for most. And this also counts for everything that drops on the floor for mission-wise or even activity-wise. So if you're, for example, playing the weekly mission for Roosevelt, you cannot pick up the C4 to blow up this gate. And that will stop your gameplay and you cannot go further. As you can see in the background, I joined my friend Notorious and I picked up the C4. And then the strange thing is, he can place the C4 on the gate and make sure that the gate explodes so we can go further into the mission. And this happens with every single activity that you need to pick up something. So for example, if you protect all the hostages, they will usually drop a bounty for you. Now it will drop on the ground, you can't pick it up, you can't see it. Same as for propaganda broadcasts, if you take everybody out, and you are, are trying to take over that broadcast, you need to pick up a key. This key is also invisible and you are stuck on that activity. So there are a bunch of things broken on the PlayStation side of the division where you need to pick up stuff. It all seems like a UI problem, so hopefully it gets fixed pretty damn soon so everybody can enjoy their game again, but it looks like Every time that you need to pick up something in the game, even if it's in a mission or in an activity, you cannot do that. So let's talk about the other biggest problem in the game right now, and that is if you die, you die. Don't get me wrong, it's not a permadeath. It is not a death like you have on Hardcore that you lose everything on your character. Don't worry about that. But we can not respawn. You can open up your map and then change your directives so the map will reset out of itself and that will reset your character as well and you will come back to life on the map. But everything that you did for that activity or everything that you did for that mission will be lost and you need to do that all over again. So that is a very, very big annoyance within the game. Most people are just logging off because that is a way to do it as well. But as I already explained at the start of this video, is that it takes forever, forever to log in. It takes like five to 10 minutes to get one of your characters working, if it's working. And that's the biggest if as well, because sometimes it's your first character that works then sometimes it's your second character that works. So if you are closing your application, booting up the game again, and you think, I was just on my main character, I will log on him as well, and you got stuck on that 9%. You need to close that application again and try it on your second character. But there is a chance that it now switched so that the first time that you logged in, 
that it didn't work on your main character, your second character worked. But now, because you closed the application, connected to the server again, there might be a there might be a chance that your second character is stuck at 9%. And then you are in that infinite loop of 9%. So if you still like to play the game on PlayStation, I would recommend to step away from it a little bit. We talked about it on stream yesterday as well. I know it's hella annoying. This is your favorite game. You want to play the game that you want to play. But on the other side, this gives you a chance to play some other games that were on the shelf because we are hooked to The Division 2. And while I'm editing this video, the devs just showed us some extra information that they will fix everything tomorrow. Or at least there will be a maintenance tomorrow We're trying to fix everything that's going on on PlayStation right now. So like I said... I would step away from the game for today, let them do the maintenance tomorrow and then log in tomorrow again and it will probably all be resolved. But these were a few things that I wanted to talk about and just put to light what is happening on the PlayStation side of things. And of course keep you informed what is happening and what you might want to skip on if you try to play the game on playstation so we can go into a lot of other detail that was going wrong in the game but for now that's pretty much it they gave us some information they're gonna fix it tomorrow so we just have to wait i will keep you informed of course as well took a little bit longer this video explaining everything that went wrong or at least the game breaking problems that went wrong because there are a lot of texture problems as well and yes, it's annoying, but it's not a game breaking. So I just showed you all the things that are happening right now. And again, like I said, I would step from the game from today. I know you want to play it, but tomorrow everything will be fixed again. If there are any other problems, hit me up in the comments down below and please keep it respectful. I know it's our favorite game. I know we are very passionate community, but of course, always always keep it respectful but that's it for me for today thank you very much for sticking until the end if you liked the video or helped you out in any way or form make sure to like this video and if you're new here and or you want to be updated about the division 2 the division universe and the future division 3 because it is announced make sure to hit that subscribe button as well and i will see you in the next one pure prime out <laughs>